magazine in LA and that's when I first got introduced to the whole magazine culture of working with a lot of different editors um, on your editorial team, your opinion team, your art team, and then also dealing with a lot of deadlines. That was really my first-hand experience at really seeing the ins and outs and going-ons of a magazine. After that, I started interning for a commercial photographer, which is where I kind of picked up and just started assisting on photo shoots and doing everything from coffee runs to seeing how images that come straight out of a camera can then look and get that magic pop, which is what you see in a lot of the big fashion magazines today. I graduated from UCLA and I was just super antsy to do something on my own and with my friends. So over brunch one day back in, I think, 2011, we just had this idea to all come together and have each one of us kind of offer up our skill set, whether it was with makeup, hairstyling, um, you know, video editing, and for me it was photography. So Suspend was only meant to be an online platform for editorials. Um, my emphasis has always been on the visual side of things. Back in 2011, we were just doing interviews on our own, meeting up with people in Culver City, which is where I first was based at when I started the magazine. All of a sudden, we started releasing these issues, which you could view as a PDF online. And our first issue was only digital. Our second one was also only digital. And when I started doing issue three, um, we again released it online, but this time, my friends started telling me, Diane, why don't you put it out in print? And that was something that I always thought of, but I just felt like I wasn't sure if there was a big enough audience for that. So I just went for it and I printed out issue three and that had Stacy Hash on the cover. And I brought that one copy that I had printed with me at the release party. Everybody started flipping through it and everyone agreed that we should print the magazine. It was the next big one, but I decided to go for it. So with the release of issue four and on, we now have the magazine as a biannual independent publication based here in LA. Issue four was pretty much the start of us as a print publication and everything that we've put in these pages are all original content. That's how I've always kind of wanted the magazine is I wanted to be able to have that stamp where everything that you see has never been seen before or reposted or reblogged or copied and pasted anywhere. So yeah, we only put out two issues a year, but everything that you're seeing was conducted, interviewed, photographed, 